Okay, we're gonna set up WAMP server here, and so uh, you go to wampserver.com and click it, and it comes up with a 32-bit and a 64-bit. Um, I'm gonna show you how to figure out what your machine is and which one you should use. So click on the folder icon, go to this PC, click Open Control Panel, Systems and Security, and then System. And and then you look at system type right here and it says it's a 64-bit operating system x64 so we'll go back here if it says x86 it's actually a 32-bit and x64 is a 64-bit um, if you didn't figure out how to do that just go with the 32-bit one and it'll work but the 64-bit will work uh, better however if you have a 32-bit machine and you try and put the 64-bit one on it it won't work so um, if you really don't know just stick with the 32-bit I'm gonna go with the 64 and then you want to download uh, Visual C++ so you click on there and then you click download and you choose the one to that uh, depends on what your machine is mine's an x64 if you don't know use the x86 but it's not as efficient on a 64-bit machine I've already done that so what you do is you click it next and it'll come up here allow once and then you click save and it'll come up with the box and I'm gonna cancel this because it's saving to my downloads folder and I've already got it okay after that you want to download WAMP server itself. Okay, you gotta wait for this timeout to end. And then again, you're gonna click save. And then after these things are saved, you're going to need to run them. Alright, once you have the files downloaded, go into your uh, downloads folder and then uh, open. Uh, C++ file and you want to give uh, administrative privileges to it and then uh, um, you want to install this second if you haven't installed it second you can just restart it after you install uh, the C++ um, I have a video that shows what happens to it when uh, you don't install it and uh, the folder was already made here too because I've already done this before I'll come back when this is done loading okay it's uh, come up extracting files here and so you got to choose your web browser uh, the default is Internet Explorer which is fine a lot of people don't like it but uh, it comes with this and it's easiest to set up if you installed Firefox you just gotta go into the the folder or Chrome or whatever you want to use and uh, I'm going to do this you probably won't get that because uh, if it's a fresh install it won't have that and uh, you do want to get the UAC alright so you click on it it goes down into the toolbox down here and you click localhost it loads up and uh, PHP info is of course uh, all the information about PHP and you got PHP my min for editing my SQL without going into command line um, it tells you everything that's loaded into um, Apache. And you can go into uh, your WW folder and make some changes. Now this is kind of bare bones, you should really have a head and some other tags, but
and you can see that works.